Hello, today I would like to show you a quick presentation about checks of modern secondary distribution substation with ring main units. And I would like to jump directly into the topic. So I would like first to have an overview about the topics, then jump into the topic of testing, and in the end give you a proposal of testing coordination for factory acceptance test, on-site commissioning and maintenance testing. So here an overview about the modern components. Of course, a ring main unit exists of more than these components mentioned here, but we see these components coming in here due to the new requirements coming to the electrical power grid. On the one hand, we have here the short circuit indicator and fault circuit indicator, which are coming here now due to more and more cables come to the underground and we need to detect faults in the power systems. And in addition, these short circuit and fault calculators give you values of the current and voltages and even the powers which are floating through the secondary distribution grid. So and in addition, they even can switch some load breakers. In addition, we see more and more ring main units equipped with circuit breakers and protection relays due to less base requirements compared to traditional fuses for the medium voltage protection of the distribution transformer. So we have a much smaller footprint and we can have a gas insulated switch gear by using these components here. But of course, as a short circuit indicators, they need some kind of sensors, so current and voltage sensors, which bring the medium voltage values to measurable values in the yeah, secondary world. And therefore we have also these sensors here, could be low power instrument transformers with very low burden or Rogowski sensors um, used here for the protection relay or short circuit indicators. And all these data is interesting for the guys in the control center. So we have here a control system which is connected to SCADA and brings the data up there. In addition, we have more and more electronics here in this modern distribution switch gear and therefore the grounding system is getting more important, of course. So if we have anywhere a thunderstorm, it means the electronic components need to be protected, of course. Yeah, what are the testing requirements due to the new technologies? On the one hand, the earth and short circuit indicators, uh, we can test here the direction and the threshold values. The sensors, protective relays and the circuit breakers can test it, of course, the protection settings and the switching devices itself with its timing and, for example, micrometer test. The SCADA and control, of course, there can be interlockings and control of the switching components, and but also the measured value are important for them. And in the end, as I already mentioned, the grounding system due to more electronics, we have the, uh, the continuity tests and the grounding impedances. Yeah, here is one example for such a quick test you can perform. So such a distribution switch gear has, for example, a 630 kVE transformer, which leads to a nominal current of 18 amps for a 20 kilovolt system. And here we can even perform a very simple primary injection test, for example, with a Compano 100. And so you can verify the whole protection chain doing the primary injection, tripping the protection relay and verify that also the circuit breaker is opening. And this is a test you can perform in minutes. Yeah, in the end I would like to give you a, a short proposal for the possibility of coordination of these tests between what you do for the commissioning and later also on site. So we have here the asset the tests you can perform, the factory acceptance tests and the, the commissioning and maintenance. And for the short earth and short circuit indicators, we have here tests like direction, pickup value and function, um, where in a factory acceptance test you are in a warm surrounding and uh, you have more time. So you perform here the more complex tasks. And the direction test, for example, is not 
possible as the ceilings of the cables are not connected already, but you can perform the first pickup tests of this short circuit indicators. And in the commissioning with a simple single phase device like the Compano, you can test the direction and the general function. For the protection relay, on the factory acceptance test, you can perform a comprehensive protection test and on-site commissioning or maintenance, you can perform a more simple function check. Same for the switching devices. With the CMC or Cibano, you can go more in the direction of function and trip time or content to resistance. And in the maintenance, you can perform simple checks with the Compano. For the skater, the same. You can check depending on the standard which is used. For example, IEC 61850, um, you can use the station scout or the CMC and the more simple devices for the commissioning and maintenance. Yeah, and the grounding system where the continuity is important. Maybe you can use a Campano with a micrometer measurement or you can perform even with a Campano ground impedance or contact voltage. Yeah, so in total for the factory acceptance test you can go more into the detail and use more comprehensive testing devices and for the commissioning or maintenance on site maybe also a single phase device is enough. Yeah, and therefore I'm in the end with my very short presentation. Many thanks for your attention and wish you a pleasant day.